everyone. So in this episode, I will be giving you guys an inside look of what a woman with MRKH looks like. I'm going to be giving you guys basically a health class 101 and show you diaphragms of the female reproductive system. So this one is what a regular female looks like on the inside. You can see the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, the cervix, the vagina, the vulva, and the uterus. So you can see she has everything. There you go. And this is what I look like on the inside. That's basically it. Um, as far as I know, I only have this ovary. This one and the fallopian tubes I just drew just because I can give you guys an explanation. But um, as far as I know, I only have one ovary. And as you can see, I just have the vagina. So my uterus and my cervix are absent. Now that you guys know what we look like on the inside, what does that entitle, right? Well, as you guys saw, since we do not have a cervix or a uterus, that obviously means that we cannot carry our own children. Um, for the most part, they said that my ovaries are healthy. However, they're not very sure if my eggs are able to get um, fertilized. I'm currently running from doctor to doctor, seeing the procedure of if they're able to freeze my eggs when I am ready to have children. Of course, since I don't have a uterus to carry the child, um, I would look into having a surrogate mother that will be able to carry my egg and my then husband's sperm to you know, get fertilized and make our baby. You guys are probably wondering how I was only born with one ovary and a vagina, but not my fallopian tubes or the cervix or the uterus. Well, doctors have informed me that um, during my development, when your reproductive organs are supposed to like trade places or go somewhere else in your body, they just either didn't connect or they didn't form at all. So they just, it just went the wrong way basically. And um, a couple tests that I've received back um, when they check my chromosomes, they say that my chromosomes are XY, which means that I am genetically male, but obviously I'm a girl. Uh, doctors say that it's important for me to remind myself that I was meant to be a girl. That just, you know, my reproductive system just didn't fully develop, but I am a female, yes. And uh, no, I'm not a male. No, I do not have a penis. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys just so, just to keep you guys out of curiosity. So, there are a couple side effects of being born with MRKH, which include either bad hearing, back problems, an extra finger anywhere on your body, dry skin, and being born with only one kidney. Um, the only things that I suffer from, well, not suffer, but we're also born with, um, I have back problems all the time. In high school, I was in a competitive dance team, so I always thought, you know, hey, my back hurts because of practice. But after being the studies, I was just like, oh, that's why. And I was also born with an extra finger on one hand. I was born with three thumbs. Um, it's on this hand, if you guys can still see like the little, well, you guys can't really see the scar, but yes, I have a scar. And none, both of my thumbs don't match up, if you guys can see. So yeah, this is my extra finger thumb, and it has all this extra skin, and it's just really fun. I want to thank everyone who has been supporting me throughout this whole process. Um, I cannot count how many text messages, emails, and Facebook messages I have received of everyone saying that they like my videos, so I'm really happy. Um, I'm doing this for you guys, just to inform you guys, and of course to raise awareness. I have had a couple of questions, which I am writing down each time, that way, because I'm going to be dedicating a video to all my questions. That way, um, if you want to know something about my life or about what I go through or what else hurts, then um, yeah, just ask a question. Back to the diaphragms, so I can show you guys a little something else. As you can see, when you guys have um, sexual intercourse, you put it through the vulva inside the vagina, which then it stretches out into the uterus, which when she is penetrated, that's when uh, they get pregnant. But since we do not have that, what happens? Well, basically, our vaginas are really short. They're only about this big, meaning that the penis doesn't fit all the way. So, what do we do to make it fit? You guys can find out on my new video next week. I will try and post a new one each Friday, so be sure to tune in and subscribe. Please share the videos. Please share the blog. I really want to raise awareness for the MRKH syndrome. And just a heads up, a little sneak peek for the next video. I'm going to be hiring a special guest. Um, this person has been behind my MRKH 110%. They have supported me through the doctor visits, to the medication, through the doctors, and just through the whole process. I am so thankful to have this person in my life. So once again, tune in, 